name is Umar Abu Saidi. I'm also the author of <laughs> Just Read It. Yeah. Sheikh Muhammad Rashid, every single time he sends out tweets and images and uh, on Instagram, etc. He's always, always very active and he's doing so many different things. He's always talking about We love to be number one, etc. Et he always talks about these things. I was always thinking, why? Why do we want to grow so fast? And you know what? Just look around you. You know, if we did not grow to the level that we are, all these multinational companies won't be here. Microsoft, they have a Middle East headquarter in the UAE, in Dubai. Google, they have a Middle East office. Facebook, Twitter, all these things that you guys are using, they all have offices in Dubai. You come to the school and you have all these services that are free, etc. But you have to take advantage of it so that you could grow. Every morning, ladies, you have to tell yourself, why am I waking up? Just to go to school? If you keep having the same boring purpose of, oh, I just want love. No. You have to wake up every morning because you want to make big things happen. Every day, I have a purpose. Trust me, every single day, I create something for myself. And all of you should be trying to do the same thing. All of you have to have a purpose. Not just to come in here and want to tell you something. All of you have to go back and ask yourself, okay, why do you have certain friends? Why are you in this position? For me, I go back and actually ask myself, why are we lucky to be living the way we're living? You know, they say, if you have a roof over your head and food on the table, you are richer than 70% of the world population. Can you believe that? 70% of the world's population is in poverty. So imagine the ni'mah. We keep saying ni'mah, alhamdulillah and Don't just say alhamdulillah and ni'mah. That's not what God wants you to say. It's That's one part of saying alhamdulillah, but it's the other part of what do you do with a ni'mah? That's the question. I have alhamdulillah, ni'mah al-aqal or fikr or whatever, and this ability, and I wrote a book. I did something with myself. Or helping others. That's when you realize you have these resources and doing something about it. Not just saying, Alhamdulillah. So my mom is awesome. And she's beautiful. And she looks like, she's 53, huh? Anyways, yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am proud of my mom. That's why I put my mom on the side. Because my mom, uh, my mom and my dad, they both studied civil engineering. I can tell you one thing. My mother engineered the heck out of me. Like, like there was no tomorrow. We had no maids at home. And we had no maids. We had like, you know, you have to do everything ourselves, make the beds, wash the dishes. Why? Why did she do all that? Because she knew things are going to get difficult later. They say behind every successful man is a woman. That's my woman. So that's why even for yourselves, you have to identify that one person that will push you and make you grow further. This is, a, this is a talk I had the uh, UAE National Day in Khalifa University. It's pretty cool, maybe look like Obama. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to drive an Audi and I went to Bukala to go service the car. There was a roll up banner and it said, service your car in 90 minutes, timed by Germans. There's one thing about seeing a sign that says time by German and you're impressed. But the question is, you should be asking yourself, why? Why are you impressed? Not why Germans, it's, it's known. They're just very good at engineering. The question you should ask is, why can't we say something like that? When is the day that Emiratis can go out and say, designed by Emiratis, made by Emiratis, engineered by Emiratis, timed by Emiratis, anything by Emiratis. So that's when you start asking yourself that question, trust me, you're already a leader because it shows that you want to take things to another level. You want to take your country to another level. Imagine, imagine, Ya Jama'a, if Sheikh Muhammad Rashid, look what he's doing to our country. Look what he's done. One day, they asked Sheikh Muhammad, they said, where do you want to put, he was in a hotel. They said, where do you want to see Dubai? You know what he did? He was standing in the lobby. And you know in the lobby, every time the reception, there's these clocks. It says London, New York, Tokyo, Malaysia. 
that I want to see Dubai. You guys can do it on your own level. This should summarize everything. No, no, seriously, like you just have to stay there and, and, and just take pictures of it. I don't have to say anything more. When you ask the question why, this is exactly what should come to your head. Thank you very much.